Hey guys, Carrot Top here, showing you some tips and tricks about what to do with your brand new FBX Hooligan. So, let's take it for a spin. The first thing you're gonna do is connect to our My Pet Hooligan website and connect to your MetaMask wallet. Then after that, you will download your Hooligan. Now it is a zip file, so the very first thing you need to do is unzip it. An FBX file is a universal file format that contains an object, the joints that control that object, blend shapes that can warp that object, and textures that are embedded with that object. In today's demo, we're gonna show you a variety of ways to edit that FBX file to use in whatever program you choose. Let's take a look. If you're like me and you wanna start with the dessert first, you'll copy this folder locally and rename your FBX by putting a space in the middle of the file. Now we will drag and drop that file to Mixamo.com page where you will see an upload character folder. There, with any luck, it will upload your FBX and will show you how it looks like in its raw form, including what the skeleton looks like. Now there are no textures in this FBX. This is just the raw vanilla FBX, but you will be able to copy many different animation clips onto it. Mixmo has thousands of little clips and by just double clicking on each and every one of them, you can see what the animation looks like on your Hooligan. So if you like that motion that you just added to your Hooligan, you can download the file locally to bring in any other program you choose. So here's an example of another file. Now, for any reason the hands cross into each other, what you can do is adjust the sliders, like character arm space or style, to get a different kind of result. Then once you like the speed and the result of this animation clip, you can also download this to whatever folder you choose. Once you download the FBX file, you can simply drag and drop it into Maya or Blender or whatever kind of animation program you like. Now here we're looking at the simple raw FBX once again. Now you can see there's a skeleton there and there's a few added bones for the hair. You can delete those if you like since our character in this case doesn't have any hair. This is what the raw mesh looks like Keep in mind there are no textures yet added. So first thing we're gonna do is add the textures. So let's start by grabbing the head. So first we grab the head and we go down to attributes, down to the image name, click the file, and we import the head texture. Now you can see these basically kind of look like what you'd expect. The head looks like the head, the eyes look like the eyes, and so on. So we just go through one by one, adding the head. Now we're only adding the base color right now. Um, later for the more experienced users, you can add things like reflectivity and the bump map. Next we add the eyes. And then we add the shirt. Now for the pants and the shoes, none of these were included in the PFP that you purchased with your NFT, so we can just add our own colors. In general, we like to make the pants dark and the shoes red, but you can make them any color you choose. All right, now we can import the animation that you just created to Mixamo. FBX has a very cool set of features. One of them is that you can either import the FBX or you can import and update your current rigs animation. So under this add and update function in the import settings, if you click that, it will simply add the Mixamo animation right onto your rig. You do have to be conscious of the namespace, but generally it works. So now let's just look at the raw rig joints and see what they're all about. 
So the rig that we give you has a full set of body joints. Uh, what I like to do is grab the fingers, I grab the root of the fingers, I say select hierarchy, it allows me to select all the roots at once, so that when I rotate in the channel box editor, I can rotate all the fingers at once. We also have given you the ability to rotate the jaw and the eyes. Now there are no other facial controls in the rig, we had to strip out those because they contain proprietary information. But we do allow you to animate the ears, and uh, in a minute I will show you how to add your own blend shape facial animation. Now I will export the joints and the mesh as an FBX file, and I will embed the textures so that wherever these files go, they will always have the textures included. So I will turn off animation. Actually, there's no animation in there right now, so it doesn't matter. And textures are embedded. And I will now export the FBX. However, if I want to just export the FBX of the mesh only with embedded textures, I will only grab the mesh by itself, clicking embedded textures, and I will export the file a second time. But this time, this file will will only have the object mesh with the textures embedded. So that when I just simply drag and drop it back into my, um, assuming that I have the textures turned on inside my, you'll see they will all come in automatically. Now I'll show you how to do some blend shapes on the face. I will duplicate the head. I will grab the top node of the head mesh. I will unlock the mesh, duplicate the head, name it, something else, and I can duplicate this as many times as I want to add different blend shapes. Here I'll do just a few just to show you as an example. I will go down to Sculpting, I will click on one of the tools, I will hit B for the brush, and I think I can drag that slider larger and smaller, and uh, I'll just make some very simple shapes just to show you kind of a simple version of what a blend shape rig may look like. First one, I created a brow angry expression. This I'll create a simple smiling expression. Next, I'll create somewhat of a sad expression. And now here's more of a pucker or a sad mouth expression. All right, getting pretty close. So it's a good idea to name these some kind of simple name just so you don't get lost in the shuffle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just give them a simple name. Now we're ready to add these to the rig as blend shapes. So you select them in whatever order you choose, selecting the head as the last selection. Under blend shape, we'll be adding this back to a node that already exists in there called blend shape two. This node is just a placeholder from what we sent you. You could easily delete this and add a new node. So once you grab that object, you can just wiggle the controls and there you have it, your first blend shape rig. Now, unfortunately, that blend shape rig will not load into Mixamo, but it will load into other programs. If we were to simply drag and drop a raw FBX back into Mixamo, uh, I'll show you the first mistake that may happen. Sometimes it may not read the rig that is there at all, and it will ask you to add your own rig. No big deal. You can always just use their way to rig your own file using their system drag the elbows and knees and center of the body and within a minute or two it will rig its own rig for you in the Mixamo style. Now it is on a different skeleton than it is yours but that's okay it usually uh, gets the point across. 
Now, in this case, I will make an angry face that I do want to have transferred inside of Mixamo. And the only way to do that is to permanently alter the facial geometry before bringing it into Mixo, before bringing it into Mix, before bringing it into Mixamo. So once again, I'm going to export the skeleton just to be safe with the embedded textures. Now I will show you how to just simply make an angry brow expression that will be permanently part of this rig. So I will duplicate the face geometry. I will unlock the new object that I just duplicated. I'm often use Control D to duplicate. Now with the second object, I will once again make a very simple angry brow expression a very, very angry brow expression. And uh, we'll smooth it out a little bit. And the tricky part, though, is to add this back to the actual rig so that it still can work with the jaw and, uh, and so on. Now, in order to actually copy the original controls of the face back onto this new object, there's a little trick that I learned that you can bind the new head geometry to the skeleton of the old rig. If I were to simply move the old skeleton, the new angry brow face will not move with it. However, if I grab the skeleton from the neck up and the new angry brow, and I say bind skin, it will bind it, but in a really gross, messy sort of way. As you can see, all of the, the joints stretch the jaw and a, in a weird sort of way. However, if I copy the skin weights from the good original face to this new angry brow, all of the new jointed weights will come with it. So now this angry brow expression is part of the new rig, just as if it was uh, there from the beginning. Now here I can export this, whether just the geometry or geometry and the, and the joints, but I can export this now to any program I choose. If I drag and drop this and bring this back into Mixamo, in this case, I believe I just used the mesh, it will ask me to create my own skeleton. I will add the chin and the wrists and the elbows, knees, and the groin area to quickly make a Mixamo style rig. And after a minute or two, it creates a rig. I can use, and now it has the angry brow expression included. So this is exciting. I can uh, find a couple of dances or talking gestures, make a collection of all the different animation clips that I want, and it'll always have the angry brows included this time. Once I get the right expressions that I like, I can even export several different ones and reconnect them, recombine them back inside Maya. Here inside Maya, let's take a look at the rig that Mixamo provides. As you can see, it's a simplified rig. It only has three fingers instead of four. But uh, anyway, it's a free program, so it can't be too picky there. Um, but I'll show you how to quickly edit some of the animation. Here, once again, I will select the root of whatever skeleton I want to adjust. I like to say select hierarchy. Uh, that, well, let's first just take a look at what the animation curve looks like. These are what the actual raw animation curves look like. This graph editor is one of my favorite tools in any animation program. So here I'll select the, uh, the root of all the finger joints. I will say select hierarchy, which allows me to select all the, the knuckles. I will delete that piece of animation and I can just add my own. And after this, you can export your animation to AR packages, VR packages, and even take your FBX file and export for 3D printing. So there you go. Hope you enjoy your new FBX hooligan, and we'll see you in the rabbit hole.